Coverage of the 2020 SHOT Show is brought to you by MDT. If you need a chassis system for your precision rifle, check out MDTTAC.com. This is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and we're here in the SIG booth at the 2020 Shooting, Hunting, and Outdoor Trade Show. We've got John here to talk to us a little bit about the Romeo 2. John? Yes, yeah, the Romeo 2 is our upcoming reflex site. Uh, we'll probably do an official launch at NRA in April and then uh, hoping to ship by you know late summer. We're not rushing this one. We're really trying to make it uh, exactly right for everybody. Uh, we know there's been a long wait for this. We, we kind of teased it at SHOT Show last year. We had a prototype kind of under glass. Uh, we've got multiple uh, working prototypes out there on the floor mounted on guns. And so uh, we also had it at our SIG range day so everyone could shoot it and uh, see how cool this thing actually is. So. Um, basically, this is a reflex sight that can take on many shapes. It's user configurable. It'll come in the box with two shroud options. So you can run it as a traditional open reflex sight to save some weight if you're running it in competition okay. or just at the range. You can also attach this half shroud, which basically gives you some good drop protection but still leaves it lightweight and open. Or the really cool feature, a fully enclosed shroud with a clear polycarbonate rear lens that's sealed with a gasket. So you just put this on there, seal it up with two screws, and you've got basically a fully enclosed reflex sight. So that emitter is protected from dirt, dust, snow, mud, whatever you think can get on this reflex sight. Drop it in the mud, pick it up, your dot is never going to be out. You're always going to be protected with an enclosed option. So uh, that's one cool feature of it. Um, we've got recessed uh, adjust brightness adjustment buttons, so duty holsters won't inadvertently touch those buttons. Um, we've got an integrated rear suppressor height sight. So if you're running a front suppressor sight, this one is not here on this gun, but if you're running a front suppressor sight, you'll have a full sight picture with backup irons. Very nice. Um, we've got nice micro anti-reflection grooves machined into the rear housing, so no glare. Um, and yeah, this thing will be very, very rugged. We are uh, specking it out for a full five foot drop onto bare concrete, mounted on a pistol, and wearing one of these two steel shrouds, it'll survive that drop, and pick the gun up, keep working. Okay, good deal. The uh, Now, with the shroud, uh, with the polycarbonate lens yep. mounted on it, uh, what is the water resistance on it? So, IPX7 on this. Um, so, basically, it's not a completely submersible IPX8 scuba diving type optic, but what it does give you is a sealed emitter area. So, it'll have no problem shedding off water, dropping it in a mud puddle, doing all sorts of things with it that would normally interrupt that dot. The main purpose of this was to just, you know, completely keep that emitter area protected. So that's what you've got with this enclosed option. Uh, it's got a 2032 battery, so slightly larger coin cell than we use in some of our other reflex sites. So you're going to be looking at 25,000 hours of battery life. Uh, there is a push button door right here on the back of the optic, or a push button that actually releases the battery door, pops it out right here from the side, and your 2032 loads right in there. So very excited about this one. So very easy to change the battery out, even with the shrouds mounted and mounted on the gun and no uh, no worry about losing your zero. No taking it off the gun to change battery. Quick battery change, you're back in the game. Uh, very cool. Now, what are the uh, brightness settings on it? What are the levels? Sure, so we have 15 brightness settings on this one. Uh, and we'll either have two night vision or three night vision. We're still kind of playing with the perfect uh, format there, but 15 total brightness settings. And does this have any automatic brightness setting? It doesn't have any automatic brightness setting. What we have found when we talk to uh, professional users is a lot of the ambient light sensing technology never gives you exactly the brightness that you want. If you're in a dark environment shooting at a target that's in a light environment or vice versa, your dot is reading where you are and not where the target is. And we find that a problem in a lot of situations. So this is very easy to manipulate these uh, brightness adjustment buttons on the go. We do have our MOTAC technology in this. So if it sits idle for two minutes or longer, it automatically shuts off to conserve battery life. And as soon as you pick up the gun or touch the optic in any way, it wakes back up. So Very nice. And obviously when it comes back up, it comes back up at the previous, brightness, previous brightness level. Accident. Yeah, absolutely. That's nice. That's exactly what I have found in my experience is that automatic brightness is very lackluster and then as soon as you fire up a weapon light the optic is usually behind the curve and absolutely you wash out your dots so uh, the ability just to set it at what you think is going to be uh, the brightness level you need and and leave it alone I think right. is, is a good deal yeah. uh, we did get to shoot it out at SIG range day and uh, we were out in the desert it was a little bit of an overcast day uh, but the dot was still perfectly visible uh, against the mountains and against the desert so yeah, uh, the brightness I think is probably sufficient and uh, it, 
looks like you've got a really great package overall. So with the with the two shrouds and the optic itself, what is the price that you're aiming at? Yeah, we're looking at a retail of probably between five and six hundred dollars, right in there somewhere. We think that's a great value with what you're getting, and especially this will be made in Oregon. So this is 100% assembled in our facility in Oregon. Um, you know, we we fix three of the main complaints we've heard about reflex sites. One is you know, foreign uh, uh, sourcing versus a uh, domestically made optic, so we fixed that. We've got the fully enclosed, um, you know, option to keep your emitter clear. And third is the durability. So this stands up to 10 millimeter recoil, and it stands up to drops on, on concrete. Anything that anyone, any professional user can put it through, this thing's going to handle it. Now, I noticed that uh, in the other optics, you have the, the H and the T designations on it, and I noticed the Romeo 2 doesn't have one of those designators, yeah. but it, it definitely looks like this was designed for the professional law yes. enforcement or military use. Yeah, user. absolutely. I mean, our other reflex sites will stand up to anything that you can put them through on a pistol. This will stand up to anything you can put it through on or off the pistol, in your hand, on the ground, whatever it, whatever it is. This is meant for that professional user, and uh, we're very excited to get it in the hands of, of some uh, tough situations and people that can put it through some serious situations so okay great overall and this may have been a question for Phil but I'll ask you uh, are there any ideas in the future on packages that the Romeo 2 will come on for instance the RX handgun line uh, possibly that's always something that we talk about between optics and firearms is uh, how we can streamline our products um, and stay integrated so uh, there's absolutely no reason you wouldn't see this on a, a pistol package. Um, I think Phil mentioned in another video that uh, this shares the same footprint as our Romeo 1 Pro, so also called the Delta Point Pro footprint. Anything that will take our Romeo 1 Pro currently will also accept the Romeo 2. Another important feature of that is that if you've got a holster that will fit a Romeo 1 Pro with the uh, shroud on it, it will also fit the Romeo 2. So holster compatibility should not be an issue as well. Awesome. So the current P320 Safari Land RDS holster shouldn't be any problem Correct. with yeah, this. Yeah, we've been working with them and uh, testing this optic out with them, so everything's good to go there as far as compatibility. All right, awesome. Uh, really looking forward to uh, putting this on a gun and then yeah. bouncing it off some concrete yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and see how well it'll survive. But um, the the fact that you can now fully enclose the emitter is what I'm really excited about because that is really the weak point when you start rolling around on the ground and you get into a professional aspect. And with the emitter totally closed in, if you do get the gun completely covered in mud, caked in dust, dirt, yeah. whatever, the ability just to take your thumb and, and wipe the back of it off and yep. be back in business versus trying to uh, dig or flush out mud from that little uh, little notch in the back I think is a huge yeah, deal. Absolutely. We try to think of everything, everything that could possibly happen in a user scenario and uh, we think we've got it covered with this reflex site. We're really excited for it. So. All right. Well, thanks a lot for your time, John. Yeah, thank you.